So BNB on the 4 hour time frame is about to break down because this one's setting in a head and shoulder right under these levels guys. Now we've seen this kind of price action happening on BNB. Let me just try to pinpoint the obvious. So something like this kind of happened right here. Although we are somewhere here guys, we are somewhere here, right? So we never went above the head. We never went above the head of this entire head and shoulder right here guys. If you can see or not, let me just try to demarcate this one as well. The left shoulder, the head and the right shoulder. But bam, you go to the downside and then you trap a lot of bears right here because you never confirmed a closure below this entire price zone. And, well, you pull to the upside once again just to go to the downside afterwards guys so this is something which can potentially happen as well on the bnb's price action but we can see that there are kind of obvious things happening in the price action guys kind of momentum win out to the downside with bitcoin also resolving key levels to the downside setting in lower highs although they are not that drastic i mean the changes in the highs are not that drastic because the first one was at 664 second one was at 650 and then followed by 644 640 and now 600 and then the recent one is at 580 regions so essentially until bnb is below 580 to 575 regions we can kind of try to go for an obvious look and trade in the market right because we are kind of underneath the 270 moving average as well although we can not confirm this breakdown until we are taken below this entire price zone guys on a four hour trading basis right so if you see bnb going below 535 with bitcoin also resolving some key levels to the downside maybe we can have a good look and trade once again in the market for about a 10 percent down move coming in on bnb perpetual <laughs> Coming in on BNB perpetual contracts right here, guys. A 10% down move is a good looking trade, right? For for anybody trading in the market for daily time frames or something like that. A 10% range to capitalize on is certainly a good thing, guys, right? Okay. So on the 200 simple as well, guys, you can see right here now on the A on the video that I've posted just before this one. AVAX essentially. AVAX had the moving average little curled up, guys. The 200 simple on the AVAX price action was kind of to the upside. Whereas the BNB 200 simple moving average in the 4 hour time frame is kind of inclined to the downside. So we can see that the bearish pressure, the selling pressure is higher on BNB as compared to AVAX in the market, right? Which is why, guys, a bearish trade coming in on BNB could play out better than AVAX itself, believe it or not. Because this is coming from the moving average perspective. But if you take a look at the oxalated side of things right here, BNB is also kind of pointing out towards some obvious things right here, guys. Now, what can happen is that once we start trending below 40 on the RSI, we could be resolving the RSI grind line to the downside as well, right? Now, this is somewhat similar to what we saw on AVAX as well, guys. You can see that the price action is trending alongside this trend line which is above a grind guys this is a good looking grind line right which can potentially resort to the downside as you can see right here this is what bnb has been doing since well the start of this month itself well essentially this one has been doing this kind of shit ever since the second week of november itself so we could be looking at similar kind of price action behavior happening on bnb perpetual contracts once again in the market guys with your RSI resolving a head and shoulder to the downside as well, right? So two things are aligning for BNB's price action that could lead to lower price level ranges at $484 regions, guys. Another good looking trade in the market with key invalidation sitting in above $575 on a four hour opening and a closing basis. Okay, now from a different perspective, right here, let's take a look at the reverse MACD and what that is. Okay, so the reverse MACD is also kind of telling us that this could potentially break down, guys. This could potentially take down, right? Uh, on the four hour itself, we can see that the negative momentum has started picking up and we are kind of nearing the range lows as well. So this this potentially could play out for good guys the BNB's price action could simply roll below this price point and can lead to further downside targets until you are below 575 regions 575 is going to be your ultimate stop loss zone as well guys if you see the price action taken out this week to the upside that is when you would be confirming another fact in the market for BNB itself that maybe this grind could extend its welcome in the market for a little longer than we can expect right so that would mean more patience until we resolve this entire squeeze to the downside. But essentially, if you go below, if you take out this wick to the upside, that is when potentially the downside biases, at least in the small time frames, could get negated, guys. Okay, with that said, I hope this was helpful. I will catch all of you in the next video pretty soon. Bye for now.